Sa pagkuha o paghanap ng slope ng isang line given two points, kailangan yung gamitin yung formula ng slope para makuha nyo yung slope ng isang linya. So, ang slope formula is given by y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. At yan ang formula na gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung m doon sa slope intercept form. Now, in this Example, we need to find the slope of the line given P or point P is 3, 7 and point Q is 2, 3. So, dalawa yung points natin, which is P and Q. At kailangan daw nating hanapin yung slope nitong dalawang points na to na kapag kakinunek natin will form a line. So, yung point P natin which is 3, 7 at point Q natin which is 2, 3. Ang unang step na kailangan nyo gawin is i-label nyo yung bawat point or bawat ordered pair nung inyong points. So, sa point P, kukunin natin x sub 1 or yung first value ng x or ordered pair yung 3 at y sub 1 si 7. Excuse me. At sa Q naman, we have 2, 3. So, we have the second value of X. Kaya yung subscript natin is 2. X sub 2 is 2. And Y sub 2 is 3. Pagkatapos nyong malabel yung inyong mga points, pwede nyo nang gamitin yung formula sa pagkuha ng slope. Kailangan yung maging organized sa pagkuha or paggamit ng formula. Kailangan kung ano si Y sub 2 yun yung y sub 2 na gagamitin ninyo doon sa inyong formula. So, yung formula ng slope is given by y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And by direct substitution, y sub 2 is 3 minus y sub 1, which is 7, all over x sub 2, which is 2, minus x sub 1, which is 3. Now, by subtracting yung 3 minus 7 and 2 minus 3, it will give you negative 4 all over negative 1. Therefore, kapag ka sinimplify nyo yung fraction nyo, you'll get positive 4. So, ang slope ng line na ito, given point P and point Q, will be equal to 4. Now, so example number two, we are still finding the slope of a line, but this time, let's find the slope of a line that's passing through points 7, negative 3, and negative 8, and 1. So, mapapansin nyo, iba't ibang word problems, iba't ibang representation or presentation ng pagkuha ng slope. So, dito naman, yung line down nagpapass through these two points. So, yung First point natin will be 7, negative 3, at yung second point natin will be negative 8 and 1. So yung x sub 1 natin is 7, y sub 1 is negative 3, at yung second set ng ating mga ordered pairs will be negative 8 and positive 1, which is your x sub 2 and y sub 2. After you labeled your x sub 1 and y sub 1, you're ready to use the formula for the slope, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So by using the formula, you'll have 1 minus negative 3 all over negative 8 minus 7. So we're just direct substituting yung mga values ng ating mga ordered pairs doon sa formula natin. And by simplifying your expression, you have two negatives, so magiging positive siya. Kaya 1 plus 3 yung inyong susunod na step. At since negative 8 minus 7, you can just rewrite it as negative 8 minus 7 and proceed to your addition and subtraction. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And negative 8 minus 5 is negative 15. So therefore, 4 over negative 15 is your fraction. And since hindi mo na siya pwedeng simplify, your final answer will be slope of negative 4 over 15. So, ang inyong mga slope, pwede yung whole number at pwede rin siyang fraction, pwede rin siyang positive, at pwede rin siyang negative. So, ito yung... Pagkuhan ng slope given two points.